far as I'm concerned, it doesn't get much better than this. If you want to play golf in a lovely setting with weather probably 325 days a year, then you've come to the right place because you can't beat, you can't beat those vistas. You wouldn't know it from those vistas, but golf is in a crisis. The sport's popularity has declined in recent years as younger generations haven't taken to the game with the same level of enthusiasm as their predecessors. There's also an issue of too many golf courses. In the last decade, about 800 golf courses have closed down across the country, with 200 of those taking place just in the last year. These closures have freed up large swaths of land, leaving towns with the problem of what to do with that land that is left behind. One town that is struggling with this issue is Oro Valley, Arizona. Located outside Tucson, Oro Valley is known as one of the best destinations for golf in the Southwest. That's because until last year, the suburb of 44,000 had seven golf courses, which along with warm winters in the Catalina Mountains, attract golfers from around the country. But lately, golf in Oro Valley hasn't been doing well. Last June, Rancho Vistoso, a private club, declared bankruptcy, shutting down its 18 holes. And this year, the town has been struggling to decide what to do with its unprofitable municipal course, the El Conquistador. Mike Shuppick lives down the street from the El Conquistador, where he plays three days a week. Like many Oro Valley residents, he's concerned about the prospect of redevelopment. Why would you abandon this? I mean, this is a treasure not continuing to make a reasonable investment in this property is insanity. Ironically, it wasn't that long ago that developers viewed building along a fairway as a surefire way to gin up home prices. These courses have been here since the mid-1980s. They were built initially for the purpose of selling real estate. There's no question about that. In the 1980s and 90s, golf was booming. Spurred on by the success of the sport's biggest ever star, Tiger Woods, the National Golf Foundation encouraged the industry to build a course a day for 10 years. And that's what happened. Over a 20-year period, more than 4,000 new golf courses were built in the U.S., in large part thanks to home builders, who made new golf courses the central amenity in the communities they built around the country. Well, a hot topic discussed tonight in Oro Valley, the fate of the town's golf courses. The justification over a town-owned golf course has divided the community for several years now, and the controversy continues with the council set to vote on the issues in the upcoming weeks. The question of what to do next with the El Conquistador has split the town of Oro Valley into two camps, those against redevelopment and those for it. If you're asking me whether seven courses are too many for the town of Oro Valley, I would say yes. And that's because some of the courses have gone out of business. That tells you that there's more supply than demand. Richard Furash's hyper-local blog, Love, Let Oro Valley Excel, has been scrupulously covering the El Conquistador issue. The people that want to keep the courses want to keep the courses because they're their courses. They don't want to change. It's simple. Leading the opposition to redevelopment is Jennifer Lefebvre, an Oro Valley resident who lives on the El Conquistador course. So we're behind the street that I live on right now. And unfortunately, we have had some neighbors put their homes on the market. Due to the uncertainty of what's going to happen with the golf course, they moved here for their retirement. They made the home exactly the way that they wanted it. And um, they're walking away because they can't deal with the stress of what may happen behind their home. In 2014, Oro Valley purchased the El Conquistador Golf Club for $1.2 million. Since then, it has been unable to turn a profit and has been subsidized by local taxes. Recently, the council outlined two options for the town to consider moving forward. Keep all 36 holes and try to make the course profitable, or reduce the number of holes to 18 and transform the other 18 into a park. Mayor Joe Winfield, who was elected last November in part on a platform to bring changes to El Conquistador, says the town council will vote on the fate of golf in Oro Valley. Mayor Well, some people were celebrating in Oro Valley last night. The town council there finally made a decision about its three golf courses. After months of contentious debate, 
the town of Oro Valley voted to buck the national trend and preserve its 36 holes of golf. But this was a compromise that reflects the new realities of the sport. As part of the deal to save the courses, club members agreed to pay higher membership fees, and two homeowner associations agreed to increase their fees to keep the courses open.